welcome to my latest video hope you're keeping well and all that jazz wherever you're watching from and very warm welcome to everybody including all my new viewers i'm suddenly getting lots of viewers which is good so i must be doing something right okie doke can we painting on this a3 size canvas paper i've just stuck it down on uh, the back of a, an old painting there and hopefully it won't fall off we'll see how we get on we're painting on my uh, glass pane as my palette and on there i've got some oil oil paint obviously and i've got sap green there with a bit of uh, red mixed in make a nice earthy color got my paints grey, titanium white, bit of yellow and some cobalt blue and we'll see what we can get into so then let's make a start start waving me hairy stick about just get my palette knife make a bit of a start start off with some of this uh, sap green it's made quite a nice colour with the red mixed into it and we'll see what we can do just establish a quick horizon there just painting from the imagination obviously in my studio something going on up here as well there we go so far so good yeah we're all keeping well on uh, Saturday, I think it's the is it the twenty fifth of uh, June, something like that. So where the time's going, I don't know. It's flying by because I'm busy working all the time, and when I'm not working, I'm painting, which is all good. Amazing thing about painting, it kind of uh, grounds me. It's good therapy. It's nice being able to paint and not think about uh, other stuff. Let's start with me darks down here. Mm -hmm. Bit of paint's grey as well, I think. I do like this canvas paper. It's by um, Winsor & Newton. Pretty good quality. It's about a tenner for a pad of it. You get about ten sheets, so it's not bad value at all. So far, so good. That red there is helpful. Right, let's get a bit of uh, titanium white next. Give my palette knife a quick wipe. So yeah, thank you for taking the time in watching the videos. Feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe. Of course, you can also find me on junkid.co.uk, my website, and also on Facebook and Instagram. Just put in junkid artist and I'll come up. Oh, let's put some white on that horizon just there. There we go. Some of that colour has just leapt into the sky, but it might help. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll find my long handled brush now. It's a nice long handled filbert brush. I do prefer long handled brushes. It could be far more expressive. Uh, sap green on there. Just quickly. Nice and fast. Just work the foreground a bit. I always work as fast as I can. I've got the patience. It's got a nice autumn colour that, I can live with that. 
isn't bad at all. Although it's not autumn, summer's arrived with a vengeance. It's pretty nice weather over Wales at the minute. I do like autumn though, I think it's my favourite month autumn. Autumn and spring are the best months for me. The thing about summer is the heat and the crowds I don't like either. So far so good. Using linseed oil as the medium. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but I can just make out the sound of the television. Don't know if you can hear it. As my wife's watching something on telly. Probably American horror story, something like that. Right, I might put some, uh, let's give me brush a wipe, a little bit of yellow in that distance there. There we are. That'll do it. Could be distant fields or something like that. There we go. Right, palette knife again. bit more titanium white down just about there I think nice and gently yeah we interview next week on Thursday for my PGCE I'm also on annual leave which is nice got a couple of weeks off so expect a lot of videos I'll be doing it every day painting every day without fail even on Thursday, after my interview, I'll just come home and paint. Um, what next? I've lost that long handle brush. There it is. Found it amongst all my clutter. Now, I do something with that sky. Might get a, a flat brush. I haven't really. I've, I've cleaned it, but it's, it's seen better days, this brush. So I'll just loosen it up a bit, Let's see what happens. A bit more linseed oil again. I might uh, get some Payne's Grey. Mm -hmm. I'll put a bit of uh, threat in the sky up here, a little bit of anger. to be obsessed by it and paint every day even if it's just for 20 minutes really churn that sky up oh the corner of me uh, paper starting to peel away just taped it down with some sellotape and it's just peeling away Hopefully, I'll finish the painting before it bloody falls off. If not, I'll have to uh, cut the filming and retape it on, but hopefully, we won't have a problem. Oh, it's starting to do me heading, you know. You know. Where's that tape? What's the chore with the bigger studio? I can't never find anything. 
not to mention the end of the tape. You'd think, you know, you can put, we can put stuff on the moon and helicopters on Mars, but you'd think they'd invent some decent tape by now. Because you can never find the end. There we are, found it. Ooh, horrible tape noise. Wonder who invented sellotape? There we go. I'll have to look that up on uh, good old Google. Yeah, excuse the horrible tapey noise. Plonk that down there. Up. It's looking quite pleasing already. Only been going a few minutes. Right then. Um, bit of sap green on that palette knife again. That puts some at just there. Distant rocks or trees. There we go. That'll do it. Bit of a Grape or two going on as well. A flat brush again. I've got bloody earache. I don't know if I've got an ear infection coming on. It's uh, starting to do me head in. I had all sorts of problems with my ears when I was growing up, especially this left ear. I was having ear infections all of the time. It was horrible. And then uh, one occasion, I think it was about 10. Um, I think I was in year six at primary school, or whatever it was called back then. It was called somewhere else. It, probably, it wasn't year six, I can't, can't remember. But anyway, I was in year six and uh, I was poorly with an ear infection and my mum did like what all mums do was uh, you know wrap me up warm and we used to have a um, fireplace and you know she'd load coal on it and uh, she'd wrap me up with uh, layers of stuff you know a quilt and all that business and uh, Unbeknownst to me and my mum, I actually overheated and uh, had a colossal seizure in the lounge. I, I can't remember about anything about it. The only thing I remember is sort of coming round from it and seeing a, a sign like on a yellow jacket saying ambulance in this writing. And I could hear voices. But uh, yeah, I had this massive seizure and was raced to hospital. And you know, this was about 1989, 1990, when we had uh, things like uh, fast response times, you know, unlike now after COVID, it's. Uh, you don't, you don't seem to get ambulances for love and the money or doctors. But yeah, this was in the, the halcyon days of uh, actually getting an ambulance when you call one. Which, I mean, you know, it's not, it's not, you know, the ambulance call's fault. It's not, it's not necessarily the NHS's fault. It's the bloody government's fault. But anyway, I was, I was whizzed to uh, Kalo in Chesterfield, ended up on the children's ward there, and uh, I had septicemia. Um, I was on a drip for, I don't know, a week or so, given a cocktail of drugs. I had a lumbar puncture, you know, all sorts of stuff. Uh, bloody horrible. But the, the good thing about it was, um, I was inundated with Star Wars figures. I was into Star Wars, and my mum and dad got me a load of Star Wars figures, and and 
the village I was from, they all clubbed together and all chipped in for lovely food hamper. And it had sweets and all sorts of stuff and it was nice, really good. So yeah, that was my ears. But yeah, not a good day out. Yeah, this is coming on nicely, that quite pleasing. I might plonk a bit more um, titanium white on this palette. So yeah, I've had that massive seizure and I've had, let me think now how many I've had. It was the start of a few seizures. I had that one in my mum's living room. I had one, um, I think we were playing football or cricket, I can't remember now, on the village green and I collapsed of a seizure and you know various, it was a hot sunny day and there was various people sat outside the pub or in the pub or something, I can't remember and uh, I went down like a ton of bricks and convulsions and everything and somebody in the pub saw and they came running out and saved my life. Never forget, his name was Greg somebody, I can't remember his second name. Yeah, and he was, uh, I'd love to see him again, I haven't seen him for like 30 years. But he, he lived in the village we were from. So yeah, he, he saved me bacon, you know, and I was whizzed to hospital. Um, I had another seizure and uh, it tends to be when I overheat. I had one, um, I'd been playing basketball and um, on my own actually, I used to practice into, you know, there's a bloody basketball hoop around the back of the pub and I was a bit of a loner, you know, in my teens and uh, played on my own. I, I say I was alone, I wasn't really, I, I just preferred my own company sometimes, you know. And I was practicing shooting this basketball hoop and I was pretty bloody good with practice. And uh, I remember feeling really dizzy. And so I thought, oh Christ, best get home. And my home was... It's about, I don't know, a quarter of a mile away, perhaps less than that, and I'd, I was making my way home, and I remember climbing a wall, you know, the shortcut was over the wall around the back of the playground, and then to my house by climbing another wall, and I climbed this wall, this dry stone wall, and collapsed on top of it and fell down into a patch of nettles and proceeded to have a seizure in there. And uh, I can't remember what happened after that. I, whether my mum saw me from the house or what, I don't know. And um, so anyway, I got seen by a doctor who came round to the house, the local doctor, and he says, uh, there's a good chance I'll never drive. And uh, that was, you know, I was about 15 and that was about, that was the end of the world for me. <laughs> You know, if I can't drive when all of my mates are driving, you know, that was it. But uh, luckily I was given the all clear. And then fast forward, like, I don't know, 30 odd years or whatever. And I had one, uh, another seizure a couple of years ago when I was at college studying for my MA. But uh, again, you know, went to hospital and went to the neurology clinic um, near Liverpool and uh, given the all clear again. It was just one of them things, just overheated. So I've just got to be uh, careful now and wary, particularly in the summer when it gets very hot. But thankfully I'll, I get about 20 minutes warning before I do have a seizure so I can uh, take steps to mitigate the risk. 
with getting injured or whatever. Anyway, it is coming on quite nicely. I love the contrasts going on here, it's quite nice. Now, palette knife again. Plonk a bit more sap green on here. Do some of this hillside here. There we go. A few more scrapes. Some things going on there. Right, where's my, it's my cloud knife I call it. It's reasonably cloud shaped. Let's put a bit of titanium white on that. Bit of something going on there. Might just plonk a bit of a, a splodge there. I think the trick is of not drawing, not, uh, so again, put my teeth in. The trick for painting clouds is by not painting clouds. Just uh, doing splodges. It fools the eye into thinking that there's actually clouds there when there isn't. There we go. Good stuff. Right, check my camera's on, which it is. Have a quick slurp of my Pepsi. Got a bit of sore throat as well. I'm definitely coming down with something. I don't mind what I come down with, as long as I can paint. Even if it means getting rugged up, you know, in a sleeping bag or a blanket and painting, I'll still do it. I had COVID and I still carried on painting. few months back. Right, looking good so far. Just clean my long handle brush again. Eee. Start churning this sky up a bit. <coughs> yeah, funny thing seizures are. First warning sign for me is, um, I suppose the, the best way of describing it is what you see. It starts to become like, you know, a fizzy television set. I don't know if you're, you're old enough to remember, you know, back in the, the 80s when your TV used to fizz. It's a bit like that. Well, it starts on the outside of your periphery of your vision, it starts fizzing, and then it works its way in. And when it gets in the centre, that's when you black out. So I do have a bit of warning, which is quite useful. I suppose that's why I've been given the all clear to drive, because uh, I've got enough warning to stop and, you know, pull over somewhere or get off a motorway or whatever before it happens. It's not like it happens instantly on a blackout. It takes uh, it's 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever. But I'm glad I can drive. Yeah, it's coming on quite nicely. Put a bit more Payne's Grey up here or something. Just up there. You know, that is almost just about dandy. That gets some yellow and plonk that down there. <laughs> Looking good. And some sap green. Just there. Yes, that is it. Looking reasonably good. It's not perfect, but it never is. It's quite interesting there. Right, I think we're almost there. I've just spotted something else. Just put that there, just to break up that sky a bit. There we are. 
Lovely, that'll do nicely. Do a quick signature. Find where my little liner is. There it is. Um, where's my red? Where's my red? Let's use this tube of red. Do a quick signature. And then that is that. There we go. Which is easier said than done to a signature. I've got quite shaky hands, which I have tablets for. J Kid. Twenty two. So yeah, that looks just about dandy. The job is a good one. And uh, thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot. So yeah, keep all the likes and the subscribes coming. That little bit of accidental red there is quite nice. I can live with that. Not bad at all. So uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.